Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sophie. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I am really excited because today I'm actually getting ready to go somewhere. My friend's having a garden party, so I thought it would be a really good opportunity to just do a little get ready with me makeup look. So the makeup is pretty much just really soft glam. I'm gonna be focusing on lashes and lips and really on the skin because I'm gonna be outside most of the day, so I want it to be really long way in. I already did my brows off camera and my tan last night. I have videos on both of those, so I'll link them below if you want to check them out but let's just get straight on with this video all the products that i'm using as always will be linked below for you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video today so i already applied my charlotte tilbury magic serum and as i did a tan last night this really helped to just rehydrate my skin then i applied a little bit of my kiehl's ultra facial moisturizer this one is spf 30 which is perfect because as i said i'm going to be outside most of the day so i want to make sure my skin is nice and protected i also added a little bit of this confidence in an eye cream from it cosmetics under my eye which is really smoothing and hydrating so you can see i've got a little bit of a shine on my face i want to just kind of mattify more down the center of my face so i'm going to be applying the professional by benefit primer this is amazing at smoothing out pores and fine lines and i'm going to just be applying that pretty much down the center of my face and anywhere that i might have enlarged pores this also helps to keep the center of your face nice and matte and stop any shine or oils from coming through my skin just feels so smooth with that primer on. You can actually see that the pores are a lot more smoothed out as well, which is what I want. I'm just gonna do my base first because as I said, I'm gonna keep the eye really simple, so it'll be easy enough for me to avoid fallout and stuff like that. For foundation, I'm using this Born This Way from Too Faced and I'm using the shade Sand. At the same time as applying the foundation, I'm gonna be taking this Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm literally just gonna dot the primer and the foundation all over my face and then just blend it in. The foundation is actually quite full coverage and I just want to have sort of a medium coverage today so by blending it in with the primer at the same time it's gonna give me kind of more of a medium coverage and it's also gonna give me a little bit of a glow so as you can see this gives a really nice glow and a really nice finish to the foundation to add some light and extra coverage to the face I'm going to be taking this flawless refusion concealer from Laura Mercier I use this shade 2W and I'm just going to be applying that to all the usual areas of my face so under my eyes center of the forehead down the nose I like to do it at the sides of the mouth because I feel like it gives me a little mini facelift and then I'm just going to blend it all in with my beauty blender. This is actually a really nice concealer for everyday wear because it's not super thick, it doesn't crease and it does have a really natural finish so it's really nice on the skin. I'm going to be taking this tanter from Huda Beauty, it's just literally a cream contour. I'm just going to be applying that to all the usual areas that I like to contour with, with a flat brush and then I'm going to blend it in with the same brush that I applied my foundation with because I feel like that always blends the contour in a lot easier. Guys, I can't explain how excited I am to actually be getting ready to go somewhere. I'm just kind of tapping more into the cheek when I'm blending in my contour. I don't swirl it around too much. Kind of tapping it in is enough to blend it, do you know? So if you watched my last video, you'll have seen me using this trick. I'm just absolutely loving the way that this glowy blush looks. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of this iconic illuminator drops and I'm going to be mixing it with some of my NARS Torrid Blusher. And then I'm going to be tapping it on to the apples of the cheeks. And honestly, it just gives the most beautiful glowy blush. It makes your face look really glowy, but it doesn't look like a really stroked effect. It just looks like that glow from within, which I absolutely love for summer. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of powder blush on top. This one is from Lani and it's called Illuminoso. And it's just going to ensure that it stays on all day and night. I'm now just taking some of this loose powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I really like it because it sets down the makeup but it doesn't actually really mattify it. It kind of adds like a bit of a brightness and a bit of a glow. So it isn't actually great for flash photography but I really do like it for sort of day wear. I'm going to be applying a tiny bit of this onto a clean Zoeva eyeshadow brush. This is the, the 228. By using a small brush it just stops you from adding too much powder all over the face. I'm now just taking my MAC 133 brush and I'm just using the same powder to bake under my contour from the sides of my mouth and I just feel like that really gives my face a lift and also just makes the contour look a little bit more chiseled. While I let the bake set, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this Hoola Caramel Bronzer and dusting that over all the areas that we added the cream contour to. And that's just going to make sure it lasts all day, but it's also just going to make it a little bit more warm. I'm just using my favourite bronzer brush for this, it's the Zoeva 127. It's kind of like a contour cheek brush. Now this has baked for a little minute, I'm just going to kick the powder off really quickly and then we are pretty much finished our base. The skin looks really glowy but it's not like too strobed. So this honestly lasts all day, I absolutely love this way of doing my makeup. Now we're going to move on to the eyes, so before we do that I'll just give my face a little spray of some set spray. This one is the Your Skin But Better from It Cosmetics, it's got hyaluronic acid in it so it makes sure that your skin is really hydrated. So whilst the setting spray is drying I'm just going to take my favourite lip plumping primer, this is the Project Lip 
lip plumping primer and it is literally just a clear primer and it's really really hydrating and I absolutely love it but it literally plumps your lips up so good it's quite stingy so if you're somebody who doesn't like it to be too tingly it's not for you but see if you really want super juicy lips this product is amazing I've been wearing it underneath every single lipstick okay so moving on to eyes I'm just going to keep the eyes pretty simple today I'm just going in with my Zoeva 228 brush and the same Hula Caramel bronzer and I'm just going to be literally applying that into the crease of my eye once I'm happy with the depth of the bronzer, I'm going to just be taking the excess and flicking it out towards the temple just so that it all joins in with the contour. I'm now just taking my Sigma E36 brush, which is perfect because it's such a tiny, small, fluffy brush. So it's really good for under the eye or for detailed work. And I'm just going to put the same bronzer underneath my eye. I'm now just taking this palette from Too Faced, Born This Way. I'm just going to be using a tiny bit of this colour here, which is called Coco. And I'm just going to be applying that right into the corner of the eye with the same Sigma brush. It's just going to give us a tiny bit more definition. Just kind of doing the outer V thing. Don't want my eye to be too dark because I am going to be doing a sort of ready lip so this is like just enough. I'm going to be adding a bit of this shade here which is called Swan. It's just like a light matte shade. Nothing too exciting to show you here on the eyes today but this is reality for me. Like I don't actually wear like that much eyeshadow. I'm just going to take a bit of this colour here which is called Truffle and start to sort of smoke out from the outer corner and this is because I'm going to be applying a little bit of liner so it's just going to make it like a little bit more blended out at the edge. Okay so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow like basic but easy, quick and just nice for dating wear. So I'm now going to be taking some eyeliner and these ones are brand new from NYX. They are amazing. They are the Epic Wear Waterproof Liners. They literally do not come off. Like literally I put a little bit of on my hands. Soap and water would not get off. You need like an oil based cleanser to get it off. I just think this is really good for if you're going to be outside because in Scottish summer it could rain and you know nobody wants eyeliner halfway down their face. It has a really fine little tip. So it's so easy to apply and this one is in the brown shade so I'm just literally going to run a really thin line of it across my lash line. Also just going to take that same NYX liner and because it's waterproof it's actually a really good way of drawing in my freckles. For mascara I'm just applying my trusty faithful Maybelline Lash Sensation. I just love this mascara and I've found that I can wear it all day and it doesn't smudge or anything like that but it's also not waterproof so it doesn't mean that I'm literally scrubbing my eyes to get it off. So these are the Prima Lashes in the style Adore. I honestly feel like lashes this long would normally just drown my eyes because obviously I do have a slightly hooded eye but because they're really light and wispy and not thick they just look really really nice and it means that I can kind of thicken them in the areas that I want them to with my mascara instead of like firing on a really heavy lash and then hating life. Now my lips are feeling nice and plumped up I'm going to go in with my favourite sort of reddish lip combo at the moment. So I'm just taking this lip liner from Morphe it's in the shade Foolish. I'm just going to be overlining my lips just in the center so just at the cupid's bow and just right underneath in the center of my lip and that gives a really nice pouty effect and then i'm going to be taking this lipstick from mac it's called bricola 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 i'm not really sure how you're supposed to say it but i'll link it below it's a really nice color on and it's not too bright a red okay guys so makeup style i'm just going to take my little roller out and hopefully my fringe will look bulgy so these earrings that i'm popping in are so cute they are literally perfect gold hoop earrings. I've been looking for a pair like this for ages. I just got them from ASOS so I will link them below as well and I'm going to be popping a little dress on that I got from Hotel Rock so I'll link that below for you as well but I mean each to their own. So guys this is the finished look. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. I am obsessed with this makeup look. It's so soft but it's like pop in at the same time and I just feel like you could wear this to so many different occasions. I'll pop a little shot here of the dress that I'm wearing. If you have any questions about today's look just leave me a little comment below and I'll get straight back to you. If you did enjoy today's video I would absolutely love if you could subscribe and give me a wee thumbs up because it really does help me out. So thank you so much again. Your support means the world and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!